Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, which means rewards day. I want to talk about how I expect the market to react today after we had a lot of prices dropping yesterday with, again, preview packs impacting this market. EA Sports holding the market and prices in it in their grasp. Whenever they want to change things, they can just tighten the restrictions or let things go. Just easier than ever with these preview packs, man. The, this preview packs and what these are just give them so much control every single day of how prices react. We've seen that. And again, that is kind of the point that we're going to talk a lot about today. Fodder is down. Todd's cards are down. A lot of cards potentially today could go a little bit lower in the first hour or so of rewards. And then I'm kind of curious to see what happens after that. We'll talk about that in today's video and as well cover the content that was released. And for the first time ever, we will have a player or potential footies winner SBC with cards that will be getting an updated trait or updated trait. I don't know if this has ever happened before. I don't believe that it has um, in this sort of fashion, but yesterday's footies fan vote, I want to talk about this before we dive into everything else. Vardy and Holland was the fan vote yesterday. This will come out on Friday, the winner, right? So whoever wins this vote will get an upgraded finesse shot trait outside the foot shot trait and Flare Trait, which is interesting. Both of these cards at the moment, Vardy and Holland, are 3-star, three 3-star three base cards. If I can find Holland really quick, there he is. Um, they're both 3-star, three 3-star, three high, high work rate. So it's very similar. They're both kind of like the same quote-unquote player in the game. Holland's a bit taller, a bit more, I guess you could say, of a truck uh, in the game. Doesn't have the best agility balance. But, I mean, you look at both these guys' team this season cards, and you imagine another plus 2 or a plus 3 boost on either of these cards. And then hopefully they boost the skill moves with the weak foot a little bit too, right? Like let's go Holland, four star, four star, or at least maybe five star skills, four star weak foot. That'd be great. Uh, and then you give this guy finesse shot trait. You give him outside the foot and flare. I mean, that might be a really, really fun card. I just like the concept here. Um, I, you know, at least I think it was last year or two years ago was the first time that they ever upgraded like skill moves or weak foot inside on a player card when they did like a, a boost. This is probably something that if this goes over well and a lot of people like it, this might be something that we see moving forward into um, FIFA 22, right? Is player trait upgrades or additions that they maybe didn't have before um, with some sort of promo card upgrade. So I kind of find that interesting. I like this concept. I think it's cool. It just gives more, I guess, uniqueness to the player upgrade. So I'm a big fan of that. Now, as per the vote, you would think that Vardy would win, and I guess it's very, very possible that Vardy would win, of course, of those Premier League links, being an English player, being a very, very well-known card. But of course, Holland's one of the big, brightest young stars right now in the world. I think this one's going to be close. I think I voted for Holland. I see so many people voting for Holland as well. You look around Twitter, it's just a lot of people uh, are hyped for another Holland card. And especially with the Bundesliga weekend this weekend, I really wonder if Holland has a chance here. I hope that he does win. I think it'd be awesome if he does, um, because that would be a great card that we would like to see on Sat on Friday. So that would be the SBC we do see Friday. Of course, keep your eyes peeled for that. When that does come out, we'll be ready for it. Uh, quick little um, aside here. Sané actually ended up winning. As by as as now most of you guys know, 96 Sané was the SBC we had yesterday. Silas did not win the vote, unfortunately. But this was expected, right? As a more popular player. And we had a re-release of the 85 times 10 So GG EA Sports. Got to give the credit where the credit is due. And 85 times 10 re-release with the exact same requirements. We have uh, basically six more days in total to grind this SBC, which is a huge job. So GG is the E8. That's going to be going away next Tuesday. So it's a six-day released SBC. Next Tuesday, this will be gone. Will give us another opportunity to craft and build some of these 85-plus packs to hold for Batch 3 because they could be pretty cracked when Batch 3 drops. Not this Friday, but next Friday as well. We'll talk about that, of course, later in the week this week and on the weekend we also had a monster of an objective released yesterday with a kanji 92 pace 96 defense 94 physical perfect just in time for of course the bundesliga weekend league links to mbabu links to all the dortmund cards this is a if you're doing the bundesliga weekend league i think you got to get this card in your club especially with the mbabu link this is going to be one very meta card very very good item people are going to be raving about this card so I know it's nine squad battles game, so it's a little bit of a grind, but um, man, that's a really, really good looking center back card. 
Uh, and that I think also caused some of the drop yesterday that you saw on some of these center backs in FIFA. And that is what I want to take a look at next. But the first things first is, again, we talked about preview packs, right? Like the whole market went down yesterday of cards that were in packs because of these three packs right here, specifically this 88 plus star rare Megan. I think I talked about it in last night's video. We had a couple days of underwhelming preview packs and then EA today slammed us with three of them. They did 25k packs, 45k packs, and a 88 plus star rare mega preview pack. Now mine was not good, right? Um, but what this did was it supplied a lot of the market again with those batch two cards that are still currently in packs and that caused a lot of stuff to drop. Let's take a look at some prices that went down a lot yesterday. Literally across the entire game, prices were going down, especially on the cards in packs. Take a look at this Mbappe, almost up to 1.4 mil, 1.375, all the way down to 1.18, 1.19. Big, big drops on both consoles. Seriously, huge drops there for Mbappe. Same thing with Ronaldo, with Messi, right? Messi is 660, he was over 700K. Varane with the... A kanji that came out. This is 534k at the moment. Varan was 680,000 coins yesterday, over 140, almost 150,000 coins a drop off on this card uh, from his max yesterday. So crazy, crazy drop offs on all cards that are in packs. Now, people are looking to invest in some of these cards, and some of these cards have actually bounced back already. But again, this is the tricky situation. It is Bundesliga Weekend League, right? So people are wondering, hey, can I buy some of these Bundesliga cards around rewards and then see them go back up? Now, the only thing is here, I you know, I don't know how much hype there is with the Bundesliga Weekend League as there is to a Prem. I feel like if the top two leagues in FIFA this year in terms of hype, in terms of special cards, in terms of SBCs that people still might have in their club and popularity and players that they like to use, Bundesliga would definitely be in there. Sancho was actually up a little bit. He was down at 335,000 coins, started to bounce back. The interesting thing about this is last week with the Premier League weekly guaranteed, literally the whole market went up, literally the whole entire thing everywhere, right? All leagues, all types of players went up. Most of them did last week. Not everybody, but most things did. I'm really wondering this week if that is going to be the case again or if it won't quite be the case. But some of these cards have gotten so low. Varane is really cheap. Messi, again, Mbappe. I'm watching this Goretzka card as well because he was down to like 360k during the, the drop yesterday. He went from like 430,000 coins He's down to like 370, 360. So some of these really rare Tots cards that are going to be like mainstays, if you're running a Bundesliga weekend league, you're, you know, you want to have this Goretzka. He's great. You want to have this Sancho. He's great. So I think some of those cards could rise up a bit today, but I'd honestly watch your Ronaldo. I'd watch your uh, Mbappe. I'd keep an eye on Varane and Messi as well. I mean, we had the Depay links, right? We've had the Dybala SBC. Keep in mind some of these cards that people still might want to use this weekend in the weekend league that just dropped off so much yesterday um, because of that supply. So I know that there's these cards are still in packs. These cards are still going to be in packs today for rewards, and they're not just in packs. They are also in the elite packs. That's the only thing that I would say. I'm kind of waiting to see how these cards react at rewards and then maybe try to, to snag them on an upswing in the morning. I'm not saying like cards like this Varan are going to get packed that much today from rewards. All I'm saying is... Um, just keep an eye on their prices, especially the lower tier, right? Those kind of cards you probably would expect to drop a little bit. But guys like Ronaldo, guys like Neymar, really, really keeping a close eye on some of these. If you want them for your team, I could very easily see these cards kind of being their lowest, literally, um, you know, around that rewards time frame as people are waiting. Some people try to trade these cards this afternoon, especially like the Goretzka. 228 right now for De Young. I want to keep an eye on this because, again, this is links to the Depay that came out. And he shot up earlier this week when Depay was released. And he's been around like 280,000 coins. Yesterday, he went from 300 down to 240. And now he's 220. So I'm keeping a close eye on this De Young as well as a very popular card in this game. But again, I, I do think it's very possible that some cards will actually just kind of bounce up today um, and actually go up in price when the rewards do come. But that would really only be some of the high tier cards, some of the more rare items. That's what I'd be watching out for. Um, in this game again, it all really depends on and it hinges on Just how much demand and we're never going to be able to figure this out and to know this ourselves until we see the market move today But we'll really get a we'll really get a gauge on the market today and see How many people might be playing in this Bundesliga weekend league and how many people are just 
you know, they're done. They're done carrying. They're they're done really messing around with this game too much. Now, if you don't want to mess with anything that is in packs today, again, just watch some cards that are out of packs. Then maybe you're down a little bit. Like I'm kind of watching this Kiesa again because of the Dybala that was released. People might be finishing that SBC up and giving that card a go, right? Kind of watching that Kiesa card. Another reason to watch the Tots Ronaldo, in my opinion, is that item right there. Uh, or because of that one, like Laporte was down to 210,000 coins. He's back up to 238. These summer stars and PTG items fluctuate a ton. So if you can find some low fluctuations before rewards, if you're trying to trade or buy one for your team this weekend, that could be a great shot as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking with rewards. I honestly do think that some of the market is going to pick back up. I do think that you're going to see some cards on the higher tier be their lowest right before rewards or right around that rewards, maybe first hour or two, and then start to rebound up a little bit. And then some of the lower tier ones, you know, um, cards like maybe an Indomble who's 23,000 coins, he's probably going to get packed a lot more than others would. Maybe a guy like the Jordi Alba going to get packed a decent amount. Harvey Barnes going to get packed a decent amount. Doesn't have a ton of extra demand with, um, you know, the not the Premier League Weekend League with the Bundesliga Weekend League. Those might take a dip and then kind of go back up. Um, but I'm very interested to see how that does react today. Now let's talk about fodder as well because... Even though the 85 times 10 was re-released, since we had all that preview pack supply, this fodder actually went down. Fodder went down in the market yesterday. You can tell. Take a look at this Dybala SBC. It was like 434 and 40,000 coins to do. And now it is only 384k to get done in this game right now. So I've been crafting. I've been doing the 85 times 10s. I mean, look at these 84s. 6,000 coins a piece. We have so much SBC demand that is out right now and so many cards so many SBCs that you can do and still fodder is this low because again, a lot of these SBCs where people are struggling to find cards and to get cards is like the 80 to 83 range and the 84s and up, they're just so packable and they're so easy and that it's just so cheap because everything is requiring the low rateds, right? You mean, you mean look, you look at Depay, 11 gold rare players, 11 gold rare players, 80 rated squad, 82 rated squad. And that is why some of this cheaper stuff on the game is still so expensive, which is crazy to me that that is the case, that we still have rare golds. All rare golds, I believe, are like 2,000 coins a piece. Now, they are dropping into rewards because people are 100% going to be selling these as they're afraid for the supply today. Um, and these gold rares are dropping now. See, 2.2K for some of these Amrabats. He was like 2.5K earlier. These guys are probably going to get lower today, but then they're going to go back up, right? If you want to watch and trade with some of the lower tier fodder, you could honestly look at some 81 rated cards today or 82 rated cards because people are still going to be grinding the 85 times 10. That's just such a good value SBC to be crafting. If you're trying to get icon SBCs done, um, it's just an, it's incredible. So people are doing 81 plus player picks as well to try to pack the big boy tots cards that are in packs. It's just that lower tier, like the lowest of tier of fodder has so much demand right now that that stuff is still going to stay inflated, I do think. Quick caveat here, draft token upgrades. This is only out for another two days. This is going to expire on Friday. If I were you, and if you're somebody who still wants to try to work on the milestone objectives for draft, if you are opening your rewards packs today and you want to stack up a few of those draft tokens, um, for the draft days, I mean, these are out for the rest of the season, right? These are out for the rest of the season. So if you want to stock up and, and maybe get yourself like 10 to 20 of those draft tokens, if you plan to grind all your way to the end of this, in 36 days time frame, which is up here, which is when the season ends, um, then that could be something that you do, right? Just kind of something to put out there. I'm on 12 wins right now. I've won two drafts in the past week playing, not that much, but it's kind of fun, right? I'd love to get to Rooney, which is 36 wins. So, I mean, I might try to stack up another four or five, I mean, maybe even like 10 of these um, these tokens because they're very easy to do. It is basically just a non-rare squad. Um, which is 5k, four, four to 5,000 coins to fill up this draft token squad. Yeah, you need one rare player. So boom, you just get a rare player from one pack that you've opened. You put it in there. So stack some of those up. Honestly, stack some of those up, play some draft in the next two to three weeks, especially when batch three is out in packs. You know, even if you're saving your draft reward, I mean, there's just a ton of, if you want to, right? It's a choice because I know it's August. And by the time we get to batch three, it's going to be the middle of August. So you can really choose if you want to grind this game in August, in later August even, you can still build up some draft, draft tokens before that goes away. So that'd be a nice note for you guys as well to kind of, I guess, just do to make sure um, that that is, you know, something that 
it doesn't go uh, overlooked before it does go away. So I know it's not a, it doesn't feel like a ton is going on in FIFA right now at the moment, but it's just very nice. There's a, a very good grind that is happening in the game with the 85 times 10. You can do gold upgrade packs to, to craft those. Um, and with the gameplay objectives as well, there's just a ton to do. Now, I kind of started building my TFA's Ultimate 11 squad. I finished the Cruyff SBC. This is a little bit of a club update on my club. I finished this Cruyff SBC, literally spent about 600,000 coins doing 85 times 10 SBCs, crafting those, and I got myself 95 Cruyff, so I'm really, really excited for that. I'm honestly tempted. I Probably not going to want to put in too much of a grind to do this, but I'm tempted to start another Icon SBC. I mean, can you imagine the squad here with Cruyff and Ronaldinho? Bang, bang, right there, standard attacking mids, and then probably running Dybala up here at the striker position once I get him done. I keep talking about Ronaldinho, man, so I think I need to start that SBC and just get it done. So I only have like 1.7, 1.8 million coins in total if I went full liquid. I have a couple of cards in my transfer list, but man, I'm really, really tempted to get Ronaldinho and to start crafting on that. So I know it's a big grind. I mean, Eusebio's tempting too, but Ronaldinho, I've never had Ronaldinho in FIFA. Like I've never actually owned Ronaldinho. So 2.3 million coins to do that SBC. Eusebio is about 1.8. I'm, I'm seriously contemplating starting Dino. I know it's a huge grind, but that card would be so, so fun to use. Even if it's just for like the last three to four weeks of FIFA, just to say like, man, I was able to grind this SBC in this year of FIFA 21, that'd be dope. So that's just kind of where my mind is at, but I'm gonna keep doing upgrade packs. The 85 times 10 is such a great grind. It's so fun, it's absolute blast. Uh, I'm gonna clear all this out. These are like all my trades from the last week. I really have not been trading that much. Bought this Sancho for 334,000 coins, uh, and I'm gonna see if I can sell him later on today after rewards. So again, watch some of these Tots cards, right? Bruno was 370 earlier today. What's Bruno right now? Uh, Bruno, according to the footbin machine, I can't actually see his card. I don't know where he's at. I'm going to search him real quick because I want to figure this out. Bruno was 372,000 coins earlier, which was a huge, huge drop from where he was. And this is just how things worked yesterday on the market. It was just a lot of panic selling prices dropping. He's 385. So again, this is the story of yesterday, 450 all the way down to 370 kind of rising back up. Rewards today is going to supply these cards a little bit more. We'll see if they rebound back up. We'll see if the hype is there that people actually want to grind weekend league. I think they will. I really think that they will. So watch your Bundesliga cards. Watch the market in general. We still could see some movements today. That is something we're going to keep an eye out for. Thursday content today, I really don't have high hopes, right? Last Thursday was a really, really slow day, to be completely honest. So I'm hoping that today is, uh, you know, people keep talking about dynamic duo, Bundesliga SBCs. We'll see. We'll see what comes today. I'm not going to hold off any hope, but hopefully we do get some decent content today for Thursday. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.